Well, guys, we did it. We got a new Invincible special. Nintendo this morning released new information about the Reef Slider, stating that this special will allow you to be invincible after you're able to rush in with the Reef Slider. This is great to have confirmation of, seeing as in the trailer, we watch a Reef Slider player fearlessly charge into the oncoming fire of a Hydra Slatling. This was probably done on purpose because you should never, never do that. <laughs> So why is this good? This is truly a balanced panic button special of Splatoon 3. You still have to turn before you fire it. So it's not like you hit the button and immediately you can't get hit. This won't save you from the midst of a firefight because most weapons will be able to slat you before the weapon starts to run. It makes me asking also, ooh, you wanna not be splashed down to so bad, ooh kind of a reality? Although, again, you still can get splatted before you start using the special, so if you're caught in the act of trying to set it off, you're still gonna die. So all you gotta do is just start using it one second earlier, literally anywhere else. That's it. <laughs> but you're gonna ask, how do I make sure that I don't die? You could use it from your side of the map. Use it from behind the lines of your teammates. You could take this baddie and charge it up from within the confines of a big bubbler to not get caught while choosing the direction that you want to go. You could also try at a time using your reef slider with when a teammate is firing an ink vacuum, shielding yourself from enemy fire, and then charging in alongside the vacuum's blast for maximum damage. Damage. With over a dozen specials in the game, you won't always be guaranteed that one of these support weapons will be in your anarchy or turf battles, but it'll be fun when they're there! I love how the game is encouraging you to team up with your fellow teammates more than ever. It really is trying to emphasize that this is a 4v4 game and not a 1v4 game, even though the special has a quick killing, easy to activate trait about it. Imagine how easy it'll be to steal a small chunk of turf with this weapon. You'll be able to easily flip a small splat zone or get close to popping the Rainmaker shield. I wonder if like an enemy vacuum could lessen the amount of paint that goes on the ground when you like run in with a reef slider. Imagine how good it would feel to stop an enemy reef slider player before they start just because you like see them beginning to load up on your while you're like ink jetting around. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> It's gonna basically be all about checking the top of your screen more than ever to see when an opponent with Reef Slider is ready to go. As soon as you see that, you just gotta pay attention to them way more and you should be able to stop them before they do the thing. It's also been confirmed that you can blow the special up early if you want to. Great for cutting off a Rainmaker carrier or getting in the way of a power clam sitting in a field. Maybe you're feeling silly and want to ambush an ongoing team fight. I believe this special still feels balanced though. It's short and sweet, a one and done special. You mess up and now you're probably in a really bad spot since your opponents know exactly where you are from your super flashy explosion. It also can't reach the tower because it doesn't look like you're able to jump with the reef slider. You have to choose a direction and commit to that direction. If it's too good, the biggest risk is how Nintendo's Splatoon 3 development team could go about nerfing the Reef Slider. <laughs> they could easily add extra time before its invincibility frames activate. Or they could go the way of Splatoon 1, a la the Kraken. In Splatoon 1, the Kraken special would get slowed down whenever you fired at it. So if this special is too powerful, they could just force it to slow down instead of allowing it to always reach its destination. Also, you can't tell me that it wouldn't feel really good to get a triple with this if your enemy team isn't paying attention and they're all trying to climb a tower or they're all like right underneath your basket. You like get it near your spawn, you drop on in on them while they're trying to do some crazy push and bada bing bada boom, you can help to turn the tides. This honestly could be a really good special to help people get out of a spawn camping situation. It really depends on how fast the reef slider is and it, it seems like it's pretty hard to get out of the way of if you don't look in advance when it's coming. Simply spawn in as far as you can from your side of the map and then bada bing bada boom fill up your charge and go on in. It's really funny because this level of invincibility is probably what I would want to see out of the crab but we're definitely 
not getting that. <laughs> the reason this one gets that invincibility is because it's so short-lived. I feel like a lot of people that like the crab special, like myself, also really like the shark because it's another mount. It's just fun to have alternative things for your inkling to like ride on in the game. Silly walking crab, funny shark pool floaty. It's just it just brings a smile to my face, and I love the variety of specials in Splatoon 3. They all look different, they all feel different, and it's gonna allow the game to have so many different ways to play. Heck, you can almost make four teams without repeating a single special. That's crazy. I love that. Imagine mounting the shark from the tower, <laughs> and then just charging into the enemy team that's trying to charge at you. Oh my god, it's so mean. I love it. Imagine spectating a match in Splatoon 3, and knowing that the player has the shark ready, and you're just sitting there, anticipating when they're gonna use it for their fun, flashy play. I feel like it'd be a joy, even from the spectator side. <laughs> Thank you for listening, and I hope you enjoyed hearing me talk about this special a bit. Thanks for watching, and have a good one! Don't forget to subscribe so you can hear more in the future! Well, um, uh, don't, don't mind me, I'm on my way to the nearest pool supply shop to buy their entire stack. <laughs>